टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इम्पल्स टर्बाइन एंड रिएक्शन टर्बाइन सो एज वी नो द टर्बाइन आर क्लासीफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू द हाइड्रोलिक एक्शन फर्स्ट वन इज द इम्पल्स टर्बाइन एंड सेकेंड वन इज द रिएक्शन टर्बाइन सो फर्स्टली वी नो द मेन कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस टर्बाइन these are the runner which are used in both the turbines these are the stationary guide vanes which are mounted on the runner of the reaction turbine and in case of impulse turbine buckets are mounted on the surface of the runner this is the moving nozzle in case of reaction turbine and in case of impulse turbine here is fixed nozzle so now we can see the path of the water that strikes on the buckets of the impulse turbine runner and this is the water that is coming out from the moving nozzle and this is the water that is discharged from after striking to the bucket to the tail disc and uh, this is the tail race and as we can see that the water is coming out from the no fixed nozzle and strikes on the buckets of the imp uh, runner of the impulse turbine then it will starts to rotate so here pressure energy of water is converted into kinetic energy of water so in impulse turbine the potential energy or head is completely converted into kinetic energy by passing the water through the nozzle and water jet comes out at higher velocity at atmospheric pressure so the free jet strikes the buckets mounted on the runner and runner is rotated developing the mechanical work so as we know this is the shaft of the runner that is uh, coupled with the shaft of the generator and it hydraulic energy of water converted into mechanical energy and from here when it will starts to rotate the shaft of uh, generator starts to rotate and uh, generator produces the electricity and in case of friction turbine here is the moving nozzle, nozzle here the part of total head available is converted into kinetic energy and rest remains in the form of pressure head or pressure energy and the pressure of water entering the turbine is always above atmospheric pressure so as the water flows through the turbine its pressure also changes as the flow of water from the inlet to the tail race remains under pressure and this turbine is completely closed by a casing and a tube connected at the outlet of turbine to the tail race is known as draft tube and the purpose of that draft tube is to raise the effective head acting on the turbine but uh, there is no need of any type of tube or draft tube in case of impulse turbine because here it is working at atmospheric pressure but in case of reaction turbine here is the variation of the pressure so to maintain the effective pressure effective head here is the need to use a tube that is draft tube pelton turbine giret turbine bunke turbine these are the example of an impulse turbine francis turbine kaplan turbine are the example of reaction turbine so today we learned the difference between the impulse turbine and reaction turbine and working of impulse turbine and reaction turbine subscribe to get more updates and more video on mechanical topics n universe double 2 you may like and share among your friends and students you can ask your queries by commenting and give suggestions if required thank you have a nice day